so interesting about that is Friends of the Earth has recently come out with a report analyzing the United Nations role, actually, in all of this. Uh, the, the, the report was entitled Reclaim the UN from Corporate Capture. And it argues that the UN itself has surrendered to a framework that prioritizes the interests of multinational corporations. For example, it says the UN now focuses on a green economy as opposed to sustainable development. Now, a green economy is a market-based approach largely drawn up, according to Friends of the Earth, by an investment banker who was on sabbatical from Deutsche Bank at the time. The underlying principle is that nature can be measured and valued according to the services it provides. Thus, nature's services are given a price and can be offset and traded on markets via credits. It's all similar to the carbon trading systems already in practice that were meant to limit carbon emissions but have mainly made massive profits for some companies. Major multinationals now have a key role, according to Friends of the Earth, in drawing up UN policy and often are the main sources of funding for UN agencies. And there's a revolving door between corporations, their lobbies, and the UN. Um, Rick Piltz, what, what is one to make of this? It appears to be another aspect of corporate globalization, which has been underway for some time. I mean, the capitalism pushes for, for, for growth and for profit, and the climate change, uh, whether you're talking about the energy system that is driving uh, human-caused climate change, or now moving into dealing with the impacts of climate change, uh, Corporate power uh, sees this as a business opportunity, a revenue stream, you know, a, a, a profit center. So I think that um, uh, it's not surprising, although it's well documented in the Friends of the Earth report, uh, to see the corporate influence. I, I look at climate change uh, primarily, and I see climate change in the global context as part of the problem of equitable, sustainable development. Climate change is a huge stressor on top of a planet that is already highly stressed. Um, but but the, the most vulnerable populations in the world uh, are not necessarily of interest to the profit-making entities. How are their needs going to be met if the profit-making entities capture the international institutions? Right, so 